नमस्ते वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू रीड रशियन एंड हु एम आई टू टीच यू ओके माई क्रेडेंशियल्स आई टॉट माई फ्रेंड हाउ टू रीड रशियन इन लाइक टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स इन क्लास एंड टू बी फेयर ही हैज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ अ लर्निंग डिसऑर्डर ही कैन लर्न एनी थिंग वेरी क्विकली बट आई थिंक एवरी वन कैन डू इट ही जस्ट चूजेस to do it and you can also choose to learn so quickly uh and the second credential is that i have lived in russia and i have also studied the irregularities in russian spelling and pronunciation okay um so first thing to understand is all of this is written in in front of you i hope you can read it it is written in what script or what alphabet with what alphabet and a lot of people th- seem to think that uh, alphabet means like an individual letter but no alphabet is a set of it, all the letters in a in an alphabet so latin has a to z all the letters there latin alphabet and each language has their own special letters like german well i can't draw right now otherwise this undo streak will go so latin alphabet is what we write the western european languages in such as english Ja, German, French, um, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, and so on. Um, and then the other alphabet is Cyrillic. I'm not sure if it's Cyrillic or Cyrillic alphabet, which is the um, alphabet for Russian. And Russian and Ukrainian, Ukrainian, Belarusian, and so on. And both of these languages, like Latin and Cyrillic, they have some common letters. and that is where we are going to start oh that looks very wrong dekha de dekha katyusha okay now we can start writing by the way can you read what this is easy right like you hear it from the americans and you think it is syria but it is actually suria this y is not e it's u and it's the same like you you can see that okay it's the same letter in uh, i'll i'll show you in a second it's also okay in in german this word means school not gym uh, kind of a school this is not gymnasium this also y it is very sharp y like this also u here it's gymnasium I don't know why I taught this. I just thought I would t- teach a random thing. Okay, starting with the first lesson. Read this. What is this? You can read this. Read right? it's coat. Or I'll just write uh, Devanagari parts here. Coat. And that is uh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's a cat. Basic. That's a male cat. and koshka is a female cat but i, I will not scare you it's scarier but i can ko you can read ko and then this is sh koshka koshka is a well female cat <laughs> they look the same <laughs> okay now let us read some more words can you read this mat okay it doesn't mean anything in russian but you can read this right so i'll just uh, write some words that we already know uh, as in maybe i will transliterate some word mat coat um let us see mm, okay i'm running out of examples what is this you would say oh it's boat nope it's not boat it's vote or well they call it vote and this means like ithe here ithe vote uh so it's important to understand that b is not b it's v okay or v because um b well the odias and bengalis would have a field trip here with the b and v it's <laughs> Okay. Okay. I wish I had like okay, I had the alphabet next to me. I was just going to do it off top of my head like I taught my friend okay, wh- whose name was Rohan. So let us write his name Rohan. 
Now, first thing is this is not P, this is R. So uh, you might have seen this C C C P, and that is just horrible. This is not C C C P. It is S S S R or S S S R, and th these are S S. Th this is not S. Uh, well, this is S and not C. Well, what is the difference? C is S. For some reason, people use it for K, like. But this is S. So S S S R S S S R, and this is R. You just have to remember these things. Initially, you will tend to read this R S P and B S V, but then you'll get used to it. So Rohan's name R O, Ro, and now they do not have a H. They do not have H. They do not have that sound or H. They have H, and this is how they write it. H, Rohan. And actually, this sound is also uh, this Palestinian group, dude. Hamas. Uh, um, Hamas. People write this. But it's actually Hamas. So this is like a H, H sound. Rohan. Well, you can't write H. I'm sorry. My name is um, Yashodhan, and I would write it as. Well, it is gonna be complicated because they do not have so many complex letters. Okay, let us try some other names. Let us try Deep. I don't know. So the they do not have the, but they have the, which is this, which uh, comes from the Latin letter, uh, sorry, Greek letter delta. And it looks like that, except uh, you just put this. Uh, that that looks long, so you extend and you put like this, something like this. So this is D. Deep. Uh, e is just. Uh, this is the. If I write P here, P is P looks like pi. So some letters come from Greek, some letters come from Latin. Um, but this is the. E is pronounced as E. I don't think it, this is gonna be helpful to anyone. So I'll just maybe we can go and practice reading this. Why am I shitting on my own exercise? Because I I didn't plan this, so at this point I'm wondering if I should keep continue recording. No, I'll just go ahead and write names. Well, names in Russian that we know of. Putin, we know of Putin, right? So Putin, this is P. Then you come with U, U, and then T is T, U T, and then E is this. <laughs> it looks like an ulta n but it is just an i putin and then again n n looks like h you just have to remember this. so this says putin uh, lenin lenin is uh, l looks like this l lie nin um trotsky Trotsky. I don't know what. It's like some some weird. I I still haven't figured out why they put two vowels at the end. I don't know if this exists even. I don't know. This is my spelling, which is probably wrong. Trotsky, and then Stalin. Okay. This is like the first time I'm reading, uh, writing Russian. Next page, better. Oh, near. Uh, cancel. Next page. Next page. How do I? Bro, how do you? <laughs> I can't put what control in what. No, near. It's a need to buy. How do you put an oh this? <laughs> What? Ah huh, okay. Okay, so let us write. Let us say Modi. Modi would be Modi. This is D. I can't write it. I'm sorry. I didn't go to a Russian medium school. Modi. Um, Rahul Gandhi. Rahul. This is wrong. This is U. Rakhul. Uh, this is G. 
Um, gun. Oh no, it's gonna spell incorrectly. Maybe we can put an H here or her. Gandhi. Uh, I'm sorry, it's an unfortunate name. Nothing we can do about it. Um, okay, let us just, you know, go to. Um, go here and read some Soviet propaganda posters. I mean, why else do you need to re learn Russian anyway? So. Now this reads, now as I said, it, this looks, the thing that looks like pi is P. So this is Po and this looks like B. Let me write it. There are three here, like they look similar, but they're different thing. This is B or uh, B. This is, I taught you, Y, Po B A and this you can recognize the so Po B A Da. Uh, K you know, K, Ko, M you know, U I taught you, N I taught you, E I taught you. Now this letter, this letter or sometimes written as this, uh, it, it is Z, Z, this is Z, this letter. So, Komunizma, Pabeda, Komunizma, Neizbejna. Okay, so this is a... This is an I, I like this letter a lot. I don't know how to write it. Um, nobody taught me. Is it like this? It, this letter. How do you? How do you? It is just this. Okay. This is uh, j. Well, not this is j, but it's like I don't know j, 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 like jenshina. That means woman. Okay, Pabeda, okay, they, they don't exactly read what they write, there are some irregularities, like they say Pabeda, but actually I'm just gonna say Pobeda, because that's what it should be. Pobeda, Komunizma, this is Neizbejna, Neizbejna, I don't know what this means. Pabeda is like future or something, I, I forgot. Okay, let us read this. Skadska, Stala. Will, will will you this is difficult this is not b ah, i'm sorry my childhood best friend gave me the worst habit of writing b like that but it is not b anyway so uh, it is what it it's a letter it's an entire letter it's e e i don't know how to maybe it, it's more like uh, is this a letter? But it is something like E, but not not exactly. So, for example, if I write T, that means uh, two or U, T, T. We can write me, that means um, V. Upon. I'm sorry, this is such a multilingual exercise. I just assume that you know Devnagri. Me, the, uh, this is a special vowel that you don't find in other languages. And as I said, this is SSSR. Uh, this is Aprilia. Bara Aprilia. Uh, 12 Aprilia. I actually never. I did learn how to say 12, but it's a special word on its own and I have forgotten. Um, Rodina Mat Zoviet. Okay, so you would ask why didn't why didn't I write read Mat B? This it's not a B again. This is the third. If you just see this, it is not a letter. But for example, uh, in Devanagari we write Bhavet or Ho De Bhavet. Let it be. And this this part. What the heck is that? That is not a letter, right? That's an accessory to letters and this does the same thing. It tells you what, how to pronounce the earlier letter. letter. So you say mat. Actually, I'm not very sure if I'm teaching this properly and might be teaching some, something wrong. But uh, Radin, Rodina Mat Zaviet. You, this is not a letter. This is like Tita Pai Modlai. Uh, Razum Ra 
zoom you can read this already because i have taught you all the letters in it protiv pro tiv religi razum protiv religi something about religions because religi means religions and he is holding a book that says nauka nauka that is science and <laughs> it's like defeating this um, padri or whoever um, small figure and he's like since science so buffed and strong and everything so it's like yeah science defeats religion um gatovin at atpor i have no idea this looks something scary uh, doesn't even look so weird it looks anti soviet actually um to dilesh mm. sir slava october you or um glory to october because they had the revolution in october um okay it's mostly now no no don't search by image okay rabot nitsi okay i i should slowly ra bo t ni Ah, okay, this letter. This is a very special letter. I'm glad I we came to it. Um, I don't know how to. I have never tried writing it before. This is c, 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 and uh, in Marathi we have <laughs> wait. Where are vocals? Where are these vocals coming from? I'm sorry. Ah, uh, she's just singing Katyusha. It must be YouTube or autoplay. Okay so this is like in Marathi we say samcha and not chamcha In Marathi we say samcha and not chamcha So this is that so that only marathi people can pronounce and it's the same so for example uh, char is written like this and what is char char is um, char char or zar and it is not z at all and why this confusion comes i will explain it to you but this is ts it's like ts well this is also incorrect way of saying ts it is ts it's a letter on its own it's like this letter ts samta uh, tsal and it's it's the same letter and i have found it in russian and i'm so so happy i thought marathi was the only language that has tsa. so it it's it reads char it is just it's not char it is tsar tsar okay and that means um, well that word this tsar comes from caesar and like caesare and from latin that means king um anyway so Tsar means it was their king. For example, the last king was Nicholas. Um, so it says Tsar. Okay. So this is Tsar, and then they have another one, which is like this, which is Ch. I I I suspect that it is Ch or it is Ch. Ch. Now let me just look at my Russian keyboard on my phone and just. Uh, um see what letters i have missed okay so i i'll go in the order of the keyboard they have e wait why isn't international playing no it's playing oh wait, i have just muted it and uh, okay so this is e then you have s u k y n g sh ch ch z k 
हाँ आई फॉर गॉट अबाउट दिस फ दिस इज जस्ट फाइव सो फ व आ प र ओ ओ शिट आई हैव बीन बीन ऑटिस्टिक अबाउट दिस नॉट ऑटिस्टिक डिसलेक्सिक अबाउट दिस आई हैव बीन टर्निंग इट द रॉन्ग वे दिस इज एल एंड एंड इन करेक्ट दिस शुड बी हियर एंड दिस शुड बी स्ट्रेट ओके नाउ डी लेट मी गिव माई बेस्ट फॉर परफॉर्मेंस हियर ना आई आई मेस्ट अप I messed up again, but this is the, and then again, best performance time. I think it is. This is how they do it. You first draw this, and then this. J, J. This is A. A. This looks similar, but this is Z, and this is A. I hope this is recording in HD. Otherwise, ah, uh, this looks special. This is Y, and not R. This is Y. This is ch. This is so. Mo, no. To. Uh. Broken leg. Like, I mean, it's it's not a letter. It's a character. Uh. B. And U. These are all the letters. Uh. They all look the same. Um. Capital or small, just draw it bigger. Literally, none of them are changing. I'm just flipping between. Okay, so these are all the letters in this Cyrillic or Cyrillic alphabet. And now let us write some names that we know using them. For example, my name Yashodhan. So I start with Ya. There's no Y, so this is, my name has to be Ya. I can just I don't have to write A anymore because this is already Ya. So I go Sho. Ya Sho. and then i'll go with a d yasho done yasho done that's the best i can do i can probably put a here but then it's yasho yasho dakhan yasho dakhan and um well this means khan like khan like shahrukh khan so once i wrote my name like this and someone thought that i was a khan and um when when they say khan they they think about um chengiz khan so um this is yashodhan okay how do you, how how do you write india e m d yeah india how do you write Russia. Well, they write Russia, which is Ro. Russia. But it is worth mentioning that Russian Empire was a em empire just like the English and the Spanish empires, and the people who do speak Russian in the let us say Middle Asia and um, post-Soviet states like Kazakhstan, and um, there are Russians there, and but it's a it's a colonial language. So Russian is not um, restricted to just Russia. So it's Russia. um what else can we write um i have already taught you how to read and write um i think it works better if you have a person uh next to you and you can see what they are reading and what they are writing um you can always like you know refer this alphabet to read and then practice and practice and practice and read it uh, let us see what other russian words that we know like as uh, katyusha is the song that was playing in the beginning so k t u now they have the u so katyusha this is u this vowel now out of these this is a vowel ya maybe it's a vowel Uh, o is a vowel, I is a vowel, E is a vowel, E is a vowel, 
there is the other e there is where is the other e there are two guys where is he how did i can you see it and i can't see it this is just one e it's like we also have two e's right this is e and e so they also have e and e okay that is chinese now in in my earphones i can't find the e where is the e oh it is not n oh my god uh oh my odds this wasn't n this was e i thought m n o p this is e e is here and so okay, this is also a vowel so they have these vowels and this is also this is a this is what it is okay was priyan at road let's go it is playing it oh, oh it it's that uh, international in all these languages that, that this university shot uh, let us read the lyrics to the russian international because i want to demonstrate to you that they have um, i mean i want to show you the irregular Ill- irregularities in spelling reading come on internet na ah, that is french ha ah, okay so you also have the transliteration but now okay i'll just ah that this is one of the things that I, it makes no sense to me they start words with w and they don't say it like they don't say okay so if if you start try reading this i don't know if you can even what the hell okay this stavai proklyatlem zakle mi okay no i i shouldn't uh, skip ahead so stavai this is e stavai pro this these are all difficult words let me um russian kids um reading <laughs> i don't know <laughs> that's the, let us see Okay, zdrastuy te. This is a very difficult looking word, but it just means hello, like namaste. Zdrastuy te. They they put words in there a lot. They just sprinkle them for some reason. Okay. Uh, level one. Okay. A cuprin elephant. Alexander Cuprin Sloan. that's the name of the author probably uh, i i can read faster i'm just okay malen kaya devochka nadia nezdrova nezdrova malen kaya devochka nadia de nezdrova that means sick girl no wait little girl devochka devochka is a girl Nadia is her name, and mm, Nesdorova means she, she's sick. They don't write e's anywhere; like it's just uh, little girl Nadia sick. I think this is a very useless tutorial, so I'm gonna delete it unless someone says that no, please make a better one and delete this. Kach, kach di dien ka nei khodit doctor. Mikhail Petrovich. Oh, it, I mean, I wish there were no answers. Kak di dien or every day dien or din, same word as Sanskrit din. Kanye khodit doctor. I I actually do not know what this means. I don't speak Russian. Doctor Mikhail Petrovich, and this means uh, Petrovich means Petro. was his father's name and petrovich is petrov petrovka petrovca uh, katorogo 
this they actually try to they pronounce this last go as go sometimes so the, the russians will write katarova but i would say kotorogo because that's how you are writing it so kotorogo ana ona they they say on ana even though it says ona snayet uh, knows like um, uje already um, dav davnim davnim davno davnim davno okay Katarogo, Kotorogo ona znayet uje davnim davnogo. Okay, whom she already knows for, uh, oh, I can read Russian, I can learn Russian by just reading this. Uh, I am having fun. But uh, the recording is off the charts, like no one's gonna be here. Like everyone just starts the video, sees two or three minutes and stops watching. So what's the point of shooting at this point? so i'm going to stop it if you made it to this point then comment potato just comment potato in the chat so i'll know that you made it to this point okay see you